this. We're going to show you a uh, toilet water pouring into a valley apartment. And if you think it looks bad, we hear the smell is even worse. The family saying it is nauseating and they're going to be stuck in the middle of it for days with their five kids. It's toilet water and nasty smell on the floor. We're, we're not getting any help or assistance with the problem. Yeah. So they turned to ABC 15's Aldo Vasquez, who is taking action tonight. And now the apartment has a deadline to shape up and fix the problem. They're advertised as the ideal place to call home. For Denzel McReynolds, his Brookside apartment is anything but. It's gotten to the point now where it's like, it's unbearable. Toilet water soaked carpets, his belongings ramshackled, the apartment looking like a disaster. We can't live here. And a sewage smell so foul, it's stomach turning after his toilet overflowed and flooded his apartment Tuesday night. There's water everywhere. All pouring into Darrell Bagley's apartment right downstairs. Well, it would start right here, and then it was pouring down here. <laughs> and by the time it was all over, even though that we've been using buckets and stuff, it was ankle deep. And both say their pleas for help have fallen on deaf ears. I asked for any type of assistance that we can have with um, any other apartments, hotel vouchers, anything, they're, they're not complying, they're not helping us in any type of way. Left on their own to clean up this mess. They say they're going to dry all this out, replace the carpeting, and that's it. McReynolds says the management company isn't helping, so he went to the city, who detailed his rights and even delivered a five-day notice for the management company to get their act together, because he says this is a health and safety risk for him and his kids. I'm trying all I can do at this point. So I went asking questions um, to the manager. Are you guys doing anything for the families in the meantime? You have to talk to corporate. So, can't yeah, say anything. I'm not allowed to say anything. And corporate had even less to say, just giving me a no comment over the phone. Bagley says he plans to move out when his lease is up next month. But for McReynolds, his wife and five kids, this nightmare can't end soon enough. It's not a good feeling at all. In Phoenix, Aldo Vasquez, ABC 15, Arizona.